Pesach? Okay. Pesach is when we can eat matzah. The rest of the year, I eat bread, right? But when we come together here to remember the six million, it's not for one night. We think of them day and night, all the time. Just tonight, a special way. Anyway, there's an enigma made up just from telling you. It's an echo. It says, This is why I'm crying. I'll tell you a good story. You know, the Heilige, the Heilige is this Rabor, 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 was looking for a Salono. And he heard that Ramotale actually, not a Salono, for, for a Salono for his granddaughter. So everybody knows the Rebbe Ramotel at Chernobyl, one of the most illustrious, had eight sons. And you know, there was not they were born one after the other, so they all were the same. So he decided to come to Ramotel at Chernobyl to look at them. But you know, we don't forget that those days, for good or for bad, the not a, that the bride and the group met and they went out for a hundred years and then they finally decided Maybe, if my therapist feels I'm ready, I'm getting ready. <laughs> Especially in Chernobyl, children were engaged when they were four years old. Imagine you meet a boy, he's six years old, not engaged, he's over the hill, you know? <laughs> Hopeless. Anyway, so in Chernobyl, you get engaged when you're young. So, the kids were little. So, he comes late at night. And he says, Ramotele, I came to want to see my, one of my son-in-laws. He says, they're sleeping. But he says, yeah, that's why I came late. I want to look at them. I want to see how they sleep. <laughs> so he looks at them. And what he did, and I want you to open your hands. He put his hand on their forehead. On the forehead, on the forehead of each of them. What's not what they're thinking about? Then he says they all are so can't decide which one is the best. I'll be back in a few weeks. In the meantime, the Heilige Rabban, the Heilige Rabban Kalina, who was the brother of the mother of those of those children, he came to visit his sister. He also came late at night. So he says, I came to see you and your husband, but I really came to see the children. She says, they're sleeping. He says, yeah, that's the time to look at them. But he didn't put his head, his hand on their forehead. On their forehead, he put his hand on their eyelids. They were all wet on tears. He says to his sister, only you could bring down such big neshamas who are crying all night because of the destruction of the temple. <coughs> so this is, I can't stop crying. I can't stop crying, the destruction of the temple, the destruction of the world. So many broken hearts broken doors, broken windows. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, my God. 
McDonald's in the pizza shop in Toronto. And the young lady came up to me and she says, I know you like stories, let me tell you one. She says, I'm a little boy of five. And we belong to a reform synagogue and he goes there every Sunday. One Sunday he came back and God bless you and he said, I heard I heard in Sunday school that we Jews have a toilet and you can buy it in a in a, in a, in a Hebrew bookstore. Mom, what an showman. So we bought him a little safer toilet, a little holy scroll, and from that day on he only slept with the toilet in his arms. What a little boy. She says a few weeks ago he came home. He only goes on Sunday. Go out. What kind of an ashamal? I hope he didn't get lost yet. Came back. He was crying. And he didn't stop crying. Literally he cried, cried, cried. They couldn't even get it out of him why he's crying. Finally he would just count himself a little bit. We asked him, why are you crying? He says, you know something? I heard today in school that they killed six million Jews. How could they ever stop crying? What an ashamala. He kept on crying, crying, crying. Late at night, I'm sitting by his bed, she says, and suddenly he stopped crying. And he says to me, Mommy, does God really love the Jews? She says, I just hope and pray, yes. He says, you know something? I don't think they really died. Can't be, he says. It can't be. You know what they did? They went to the gas chambers. Then, on the other side, they went straight to your shrine. Amen. 